They said they want to do protest. Nothing like protest. I would have never do protest. I would have never do it in me. I would have never do it in me. I would have never do it in me. Hello guys or welcome back to my channel. Today is another day with another brand new video and it's concerning the new protests and ongoing problems in Nigeria. First of all, a lot of people has been communicating in different ways after MTN has blocked over 3,000 to 4,000 users network in Nigeria, Lagos to be specific. It's not to talk of other part of Nigeria where their line has been blocked so a lot of people are coming out to protest against the bad government and they are also saying that the government are also using this as a strategy to remove their mind from the protest but nonetheless this is what kaduna um governor have to say about the protest that are operating not in the nigerian shows not in the nigerian soil they are outside there trying to foment trouble here so that our land our country can be destabilized and you know and destroy us as a the governor in the video he just watched was saying that the people who are pushing the nigerians to make this protest are not even living in nigerians how is that possible we are here in nigeria we are going through hard time and we are really really suffering a lot of people are dying of hunger depression not to talk about the bad road and bad education system and that is why nigerians are saying no enough is enough if something can't be done then you guys need to step down currently a price for the fall for a liter of oil in nigeria is now 1300 naira that is not even among the protests that is going on now because people haven't really noticed this because not everyone even is going out to use public transport anymore and those who owns a car now everyone is just being at home because they are waiting for this protest to come and go so nonetheless a lot of people has been saying a lot of things and this online has been trolling each other and lately they have started something that i've never seen in my life before whereby they are using protesters to protest against protesters i don't know if that makes sense to you but yes people are protesting for people not to protest oh i don't know how to put it straight like they are paying people 1500 to 2000 to go outside and protest so that they want other people that's coming out to protest against the government to not come out first of all this is what wiki the FCT chairman have to say. You know, there are politicians, they want to be in power at all costs. Who are these people who want to do protests? I'm just doing it on social media. They have applied to be to grant the Ego Square. They apply to me through social media. You write a letter to the minister. I will see you. Who are you? What do you want to do? How many days do you want to spend? How much will you pay? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. It is not, you see, when people want to do propaganda in everything, I want them on channel news. Telling the IG, I've, I've, I've applied. You don't apply to me through channels. You must apply properly. You must pay what they call security cost. So if there's any damage with the facilities, we we'll take that security cost and repair. You know, you, you don't just because you want to play to the gallery. We don't just give people just because she has applied. You, for, you, for, you fulfill the conditions. There are people who have failed the election. The only way they think they can be relevant is to overthrow the government in two ways, whichever ways. I thank the youth that this place is the center of unity. This place we cannot afford to allow the capital city where the international community is to be where people will want to practice how to be violent. We will not allow that. We will allow violence here. No. Certainly not. I've seen all kinds of uh, threats. 
Somebody say, oh, you will die tomorrow, your children will die. Anna will die one day. Say, don't need to tell me I will die. Anna will die. If it is tomorrow I die, you don't you that kill me. That's my time. So don't, so don't threaten me that I will die tomorrow. I will die the day God said, will I die? So guys, if you notice, you realize that this governor's president and the senators are finding a way to change the mind of the citizens through media platforms that means they are already scared of what this youth can do they are putting fear trying to change the aspect that these youth are trying to work towards so that they don't have to protest against them because this protest has already made them scared they are already feeling cold in their spines and all of them are running away most of them their kids are no longer in nigeria because they know what protest can do it can cause to it can lead to citizen going out there to look for their family member and all that kind of shit like that so now most of these people have taken away all their family member and they have to send them away to foreign countries and they are just here blabbing and watching us suffer nonetheless my name is Emmanuel Bernard if you find this video interesting or have any other information regarding to this video please don't forget to drop it on the comment section because I'll do well to make my findings and also correct any corrections <laughs> Thank you.